Kentwood finished five and five last season with a fourth place finish in the OK Red. However, that was quite a jump from the year before where they went just two and seven in 2021. This season, the Falcons say they've got depth on their side. We got a ton of offense and defensive linemen, skilled guys, uh, you know, next man up mentality. Hopefully, you know, nobody goes down, but if that, you know, injuries do happen, football is, is a collision sport and the injuries do occur, that next guy's be got to be ready to go. You have some teams when they have a, a really good player on the team that has multiple Division One offers, they kind of ride on that player. We don't do that at EK, not one bit. We, we ride on the team. Senior linebacker and Ohio University commit Stellan Bowman will lead the defense this year. He's also making sure his younger teammates know the expectation of EK football. It's more so about like passing the torch down because I, I've spent my time up here. I've been on varsity for the past four years. Um, now we have a sophomore that got pulled up and we have a two juniors. So I'm just giving them the information that I've accumulated over the past three, three, three four years. The Falcons always schedule a tough non-conference opener in week one and this year is no different. Our first game against Harlan, I feel like it's going to be the tone setter for our year, especially with us with Stellan. It's going to be me and Stellan together with our team. Stellan's going to be stopping their offense, let me score some points, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a really good game, I feel like, especially on their new turf, top tier. Last year's season opener was against Muskegon, where EK ended up leading going into the fourth quarter, but let the Big Red score 14 unanswered points, and they took the loss. They say that was a good measuring stick, though, for them to start the year. If we do the work that we you know, need to do, uh, prepare the right way, we can play with anybody, and, and that just gave us some confidence. You know, going into that season and, and of course the off season as well. Muskegon got away with one last year, but you know, it kind of woke the OK Red right up. Like, oh shoot, they came to play. So, you know, with Joppy at quarterback, we're looking to do some good things this year. Per usual, their conference will bring its fair share of challenges. TK says they want to climb the top of the ranks, but also want to focus on their week one opponent before getting into the thick of the OK Red. We just want to win them all. <laughs> I'm serious. That's, you know, you take it one game at a time and then you know, you go through the, you know, we, 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 it's a gauntlet. The OK Red is by far one of the toughest leagues in the state. I'll argue that every year, year and out. Um, but it's just, you know, taking that one game approach. Our opponent is Heartland. We'll worry about Heartland and go from there.